Hello everyone, my name is Przemysław Schufel and today I'm going to show you how to simulate public transportation systems using OpenStreetMap map x.gl. The co-authors of this presentation are Nikita Polocznik, Inga Shuta and Prawa Prawat. This is a part of research being done at Ryerson University under Answer Canada COVID Alliance grant with cooperation from security uh, with cooperation from security compass okay so let us get the things rolling so here is a jupyter notebook you can download it from the openstreetmapx.gl website so just go to the website here you can download exactly the same notebook i'm presenting so as always we start with loading the libraries then we load a map and um, so openstreetmap x.gl can load maps in the osm format this has been discussed in my previous juliacon presentation last year so just go to youtube and google for my name and you find the details exactly how it's working okay so here are we are loading the map and uh, the main part of this is that a map is presented as a graph that we can work with we'll extend this graph with the data on the transportation system so here i have just for simplicity only seven uh, stops of a subway system so i'm just loading this loading this to julia and here it is now i need to add it to the graph so each of the stops needs to be connected somehow to the graph so i load i load the map of some part of toronto and then each of the stops needs to be attached so detailed code can be found here so maybe one thing it is kind of tricky it's, i'm using a sparse matrix so i need to decompose it and then compose it back and so on but more or less this code should be quite clear so let me just load it we have a limited time so now let us plot it so let's see what has been added uh, i'm using here python volume which works uh, quite nice for plotting maps uh, and here it is so this is sent some central parts of toronto this red um, this thick black line are the limits of my simulation modeling and here it's the mm, subway part of subway system that i have just added to the map so maybe let's try to run some person through the subway system so here i have one commuter who travels between their home and their work they start here and then they go uh, here take the subway and then use the subway to travel to work so you can see that the routing actually is correctly working on this map which is a good news uh, so this is the first part so it's how to do routing so you can find it here so you can see that i can take data i can connect it to the map and i have routing and this is the part where people can my agents in my model can decide how they move around uh, but the next part is that they actually take a public transportation system so here we are building an agent based simulation just using plain julia objects it's also possible to do that with agents.gl or other libraries so here i'm just defining the objects i have an agent object a wagon object that represents a, a, a street card or a subway train and then the next thing i need to do i need to define the simulation object so here it has been defined it's holding all of the data I can create such simulation object. I can see a single agent out of the simulation. Okay, so in order to plot it, I'm defining a plotting function. This time I'm using plotting that has been inbuilt into OpenStreetMap X. And as you can see, we can make a nice plot here. I have 50 agents and seven street cards. And then later I can model how they move around. Okay, so we need to define how the agents are actually moving around. So here we are having a step function. Uh, the, this is a step function for people that they are walking across the city with some giving predefined speed. But there is also a step function for subway trains that 
uh, they are moving here in the model two minutes per stop and people are moving three kilometers and per hour it's hard coded it's just a very simple demo model i was i have been trying to keep the code as short as possible okay so this is this piece of code now i want to repeat two step steps up to some point so here it's the step round function that defines how long i repeat the steps okay so let us now to let us now to try to run the model so what do we have here i'm setting here the random number seed then the next thing is uh, the next thing is I'm creating the simulation model this time with 500 agents and I'm using here the animate macro. Actually, there is one quite in interesting thing, namely when you set this option here, the animation is going to be generated much quicker. So we are using GR for generate images. I do not know whether it has been corrected in later versions of Julia, but if you set this parameter, your GR images, if you generate lots of lots of images, it's quite important to ha have this GKS WS type parameter. Okay, so it's actually taking just few seconds to generate 240 frames of my animation. So this is generating. I have this also pre-generated just before the presentation. So what you can see here in the model, we have street cards with people moving around. So the blue dots are people uh, traveling between their home and work, which are actually giving, giving here as random locations just for simplicity. So we have a huge bunch of people who are moving around. Uh, then we have um, uh, uh, trains and you have a cap you have some they have some capacity but you can see a number of people in each train so we have like 7 13 7 and so on and the people are getting on and off the train depending on when they want to get uh, the further part of the project is to model uh, actually oh this animation has been completed and i'm streaming the video so it wasn't that long as you can see and it's quite a big part of animation so we have all those people running here around and actually the research project is about the, the frequency of the transportation system and how it's affecting the epidemic uh, the time is limited but you can imagine a model extension of this model uh, to show how the people are getting uh, infected and why thank you very much for uh, listening again you can find all of the source code uh, in the github repository so if you want to play with this you are welcome thank you very much